All right, everybody, welcome back to the next system test with the Kita FX-64 Fire Alarm Control Panel. In this test, we have one change. So the one change in this test is this spot right here. Get the camera into focus. As we can see, we now have a spot on the system where we can have a conventional pulse station. So how did I do that? So the answer is actually this module right here. Let's open it up and have a closer look. So this is the model FX-IDC-2B fire alarm module. I always knew that this could convert conventional pull stations into basically addressable, but the one thing is in order to do that, you had to uh, program, program that in on the panel itself and figuring out that took a while to do. But I had some time and I went ahead and did it and now I can have conventional pull stations or smoke detectors or any of that on this panel. So looking right here, we have changed out the notification appliances. For notification appliance spot one, we have a Wheelock ZNS-MCW. This is set on code three and 15 candela. Right here is the second notification appliance. After we get it in focus, you'll see that it is a Wheelock uh, another Wheelock ZNS, but this is actually a ZRS. The difference between the last one is this one is just a remote strobe. This is a Wheelock ZRS-MCW, and this is set on 15 Candela. So to start off the test today, we will be demonstrating this pull station. It's the MS-7AF by Gamewell FCI. It's basically a Firelight BG12LX. This is addressable, but it was converted into conventional. So. Let's go ahead and pull it. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and do this pull station as well. Here we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and reset the pull stations. Both of them take keys to reset. As you can see, this one is addressable. You got the module right there. And we'll go ahead and do a system reset just by pushing the reset button right there. Another feature I'd like to show is the NAC supervision. So basically, if I take this device off, then the panel should go into trouble. So let's go ahead and do that. There it goes. All right, the panel should be going into trouble. So as we can see right here, uh, the LCD screen is saying NAC1, and then the trouble light is flashing. If we go ahead and snap the ZRS back on, the panel should stop being in trouble. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna do it for this test. I sure hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.